Hi, it's Rob here. Now, time management is actually a nonsensical concept. You can't manage it because it drifts on without you regardless. But there are four things that you can do to maximize the time that you have. So if time management is the nonsense concept, then life management and energy management and diary management and key result area and income task management are actually the, the sensible, functional things that you can manage. So time management nonsense, those four things which I'm going to explain now are the things you can control. So if you want to manage your time way better, be more productive, get the higher value things done rather than getting sucked into everyone else's phone calls, everyone else's emails, everyone else's emergencies, everyone's chasing you, rub, 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 I need this emergency, that emergency, oh, help me, help me, help me, help me. And you're like, whoa, overwhelm. And, and then you sort of try and help them all and then you get none of your own shit done and then you get so overwhelmed, you tell them all to fuck off and leave me alone so then they fuck off and leave you alone so then you don't have any business. And then you wish you had business, so then you reach out to them, come on, help me, help me, help me, and then you're overwhelmed again, and then the cycle repeats. So these four things you want to do, are, and I'll, I'll tell you what they are, and then I'll detail them. So the first thing is you want to know what your key result area tasks and highest income generating activities are, and do more of them and less than everything else. The next thing that you want to do is you want to compartmentalize and structure your diary with the ruthless planning and efficiency um, so that you create a template that totally works for you, your life, your vision, your social, as well as your business. Someone has said, am I in my pyjamas? No, just because I'm wearing a t-shirt. doesn't mean I'm in my pyjamas, you cheeky bastard. Um, thanks for the feedback is what I should have said. Okay, then the next thing, once you've sort of compartmentalized and structured your daily template, is you want to have a conducive environment uh, for that work. And then the fourth thing is monitoring and managing your energy and your enthusiasm and your passion. So if you imagine you had four sheets of tracing paper and you're writing these blueprints, uh, at the bottom, you've got your income generating tasks and key result areas. Then overlaid there, you've got a structure of the day, which fits them in first and with highest priority. And then over that, you've got something else, which is the third thing. Remind me what I said about the third thing. Um, and then over that, you've got your energy and enthusiasm and passion levels. All right, so you've got to remind me about that third thing because I'm doing this without notes. All right, let me know where you're from. Let me know. Um, give me a thumbs up or a smiley face or... Uh, Right. OK, so first thing then is in my book, Life Leverage, I gave you a process to go through which helped you work out the highest value, most important task that you've got to do to grow and scale your business, to be have the maximum productivity with the minimum time input so that you make the maximum amount of money in the minimum amount of time. You get the maximum amount of satisfaction, happiness, leverage, results, progress with the minimum stress and the minimum running around like a blue ass fly or a headless chicken. So do you know what your two to maybe five or six key result areas are? So for me, it's strategy and vision. It's building and leading a team. It's growing my companies and products, you know, basically reaching new business. It's growing my personal brand and the brand of our company so that, you know, we get out there more. It's uh, writing and teaching and leveraging my knowledge and creating asset and information um, leverage uh, and assets and um, etc. So they are some of my key result areas. Uh, and then income generating tasks come from that, i.e., the thing that you can do right now, which will make you the maximum amount of money. So I just got a deal um, to get tr my book translated, my, my money book translated into Korean. It's a thirty thousand dollar advance, um, and then it's X percent oh, up to seven thousand units sold, and then a little bit more up to um, you know from seven thousand onwards. So a key result area was to agree that get it signed by the um, my publisher. Just run it by my team, etc. That's a key result area because that's thirty thousand dollars just waiting to be put into the bank. So that's a key result area. Me doing these live feed videos and creating content on my podcasts and live feeds, etc. For me, are key result areas because it's growing and building the brand. It's growing and building the, the followers, the fans, the subscribers. You know, and hopefully many of you you'll filter down and you'll purchase a book or two and you'll find your way through to our other products and services. So that's a key result area.
So do you know what your, your key result area and income generating tasks are? Because if you don't, then what you do is reply to other people's emails, pick up other people's phone calls, and you, you, you perform functions of other people's emergencies. Uh, and therefore, at the end of the day, you're doing five pound an hour tasks instead of for 500 pound an hour tasks. Okay, so that's step one. So that's the first piece of tracing paper. Then over that, uh, you layer up managing your time and your diary and compartmentalizing your diary and having a daily template um, to, perf to follow um, in the most productive way the functions of key result areas and income generating tasks. So for example, 6 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. you might be doing your key result area stuff. 8.30 to 9 you might do calls. 9 to 9.30, 9.30 to 10 you might do meetings. 10, you might have your first break for 15 to 30 minutes. You should put all your admin and your follow up and the reactive stuff in at 4, 5 and 6 p.m. when you're tired and you're bored and you're, you're a bit distracted. You shouldn't be having meetings with JV partners and big suppliers and, you know, go landing massive contracts at that time after your lunch when you've got a carb coma. Um, you know, because otherwise you're, um, you're probably going to push them away. You're not going to be the most productive. So I never do phone calls and never have meetings. Um, outside of my really productive, high energy, high enthusiasm, high passion times. You might have noticed if you, if you follow me, yesterday I did a, vo a video at 7.15 p.m. And I had to do two takes, sorry, two takes, uh, because I caught the first one up because I couldn't even speak. Gibberish was coming out of my mouth because from sort of six o'clock onwards, I'm winding down, I get a bit tired, I get a bit lethargic. My brain doesn't work quite as quick as when it's on coffee. So I shouldn't, shouldn't I, that's why I don't do videos. Why did I do a video at that time? It's a stupid thing to do. Um, so it's um, getting that... Template, you know, when do you put your gym in? When do you see your kids? When do you do your social stuff? And, and mapping that all in and then recurring it in your diary so that the same time, the same day or the same week, you do those and then you tweak it over time. You know, I know that if I have a meeting at 11.30, I'll be unproductive, but if I have a meeting at 10.30, I'll be productive. Um, I know that I'll book, book a, a lot of my one-to-one -one calls in while I'm traveling. And while I'm traveling, I'll get a driver because if my time is worth £500 an hour or £5,000 an hour, then it's worth paying £300,000, sorry, £300, not £300,000, um, £300 for a, a driver to take me, you know, maybe to um, the, the southeast of England or the north, north of England rather than me losing that time. Okay, the third thing. Can you remember what the third thing was? I can. It is c getting the environment conducive to your key result areas and income generating tasks and your diary template. So that is, for example, making sure that when you're doing your key result areas from 6 till 8.30 a.m., for example. Now, by the way, if you're an artist or a creative, your, yours might be 6 p.m. till 8.30 p.m. I'm not saying when it should be. I'm just saying when mine is. Um, you've got to make sure you isolate yourself. So this is actually my um, living room. So if you just have a quick look round. See if I can give you a 360. There's my boardroom in there. Um, yeah. So um, I, I basically, no kids are allowed in here, no mess, no clutter. It, it can be shut off. I've got my music system set up because I, the right kind of music really inspires me. Uh, I'm currently doing a live feed in here rather than in my studio because the dog's locked in the studio and the kids are upstairs and whatever else. So um, obviously I've got good Wi-Fi in here. I've got everything I need accessible on that, in, on the sort of control for home system. So I can put my spreadsheets and PowerPoints and uh, put my screen up on that screen. Uh, and I can get good um, focus work done. Now, I sometimes go into the office, but if I go into the office from 9.30, the team are going to be on me. If I start doing my key result area work at 9.30, I'm going to be tempted to check online, check my uh, map laptop and then going to be a load of emails coming in because I send a lot of emails late um, and then people reply to me early in the morning when they wake up or they get to work uh, and, if, and if I'm supposed to be having productive meetings or key result area work or vision or strategy I'm just going to get distracted so um, have you got an environment conducive so on the one hand you could have somewhere where you're, you're isolated which is good so you don't get interrupted but if it's a dark, dingy room, you haven't got your vision board, you haven't got light, you're not where you want to be, you're not going to be as productive and efficient. Now, some people like uh, jumping from coffee shop to coffee shop. Some people like the variety of different spaces to work. I do. So I've made sure that the phone and the laptop, which is over there, can access the, um, you know, the server in my office and can, any files I need at home or office or whatever are all located on the cloud. Excuse me. So I can do all or any of my work or access all or any of my assets or accounts from the device. So that, that, that third layer is the conducive environment. Um, and I've set up various rooms around the house. 
Um, like we've just had a big extension done and you can see out into the garden and I can see my cars through this glass wall in the garage and I sit there and I feel inspired. Um, okay, you know, there's other childish reasons for doing those things. Um, then the fourth, fourth thing is tracking your energy, enthusiasm and passion, highs and flows, highs and lows, ebbs and flows in the day. So I get up at six, I go and get my Costa coffee, I list the podcasts on the way, I have the coffee from six till kind of nine, I'm buzzed, I'm energised, I do high um, I value work then, strategy, vision, writing, um, new, bo- new products, new ideas. And, you know, I don't really need anyone else. I just need a cup of coffee and I'm, and I'm on it. 9 to 9.30, meeting with my MD or my assistant. 9.30 to 11 are three slots for meetings. 11 to 1, kept free. 1 to 2 is backup time. Uh, 2 onwards is gym, golf with uh, my son, dinner with the kids, and then spending time with Gemma in the evening. And um, I've tracked that all over two or three years, making sure they eat the right foods at the right time and have the right coffee at the right time and do the exercise at the right time and get the sunlight and the inspiration at the right time. Uh, And if you test that over, um, you know, the next two weeks, when are you high, when are you low, when are you enthusiastic, when are you passionate? Um, So, for example, you know, I'll feel quite motivated and inspired up to sort of 10, 11 in the morning. So if I'm going to meet people and do stuff live, like live videos and meetings, I should be doing it then. I shouldn't be doing it at 4, 4.35 or 7 or 8, um, you know, when I'm kind of like a bit demotivated or because my patience will be less and, you know, I'll have that decision fatigue. Often if meetings are in the wrong time, I'll just go, oh, fuck it, do whatever you want. I'll oh, fuck it, do whatever you want. Because I don't want the decision. I don't want the, the pain of the decision because I've been making decisions all day. So, you know, I don't want important meetings with celebrities or you know, people who've got billions at that time. That would be the worst time to put it in. So let me summarise those layers and then tell you something really special I've got for you. So don't go anywhere. So layer one is your key result areas, your income generating tasks. It's all in Life Leverage, uh, the book. If you don't know what they are and you haven't planned them, just get the audio book or the book. It's all in there. You'll find out yours. The second thing is compartmentalizing and structuring your day and testing appointments at different times and maximizing your time. There's also a chapter of that in Life Leverage. So get it uh, and do it. The third thing is the, the environment. So when I'm having meetings, I like to be, have bars and things around, but I like to be in this meeting room, maybe where there's glass where I can see things going on, but I can't hear it. Um, you don't want to be in a dark and dingy environment. You don't want to have distractions. And then the fourth thing is tracking your energy level. So that's also the music you listen to. Make sure it's uplifting music. Don't watch Homeland and 24 and all these things that while they're exciting and escapism, they're stressful and depressing. You want to be watching uplifting autobiographies. I don't listen to um, depressing music anymore. I just always used to listen to Radiohead and my art was good. But man, my, um, my mentality was terrible. And I now just choose their more uplifting songs and I listen to more uplifting music to get me in the mood and watch more uplifting documentaries. Speak to uplifting and inspiring people. Um, and then that's the, the higher level. I don't know why I'm getting the growly face for that. Do you not like Radiohead or something? Um, they're still a genius, but they're a bit depressing. All right, so um, I hope that's been useful. That will, so remember, time management is a bit of a myth and a fallacy. Those four things will give you um, life management, balance, productivity, enthusiasm, energy, inspiration. It'll also give you time with your kids, time to go to the gym, time to do your sports and your passions and your hobbies and meet great, amazing people. Um, because when you do that, that will go back into your work work and make you more inspired and enthused. When you're inspired, inspired and enthused, uh, people will be attracted to you and, and, and they will radiate towards you. You'll be attractive to them so you'll get more business because you're putting out these good vibes and you're creating these good vibes by those four layers so if you thought this video was useful give me a heart i've just had a heart give me a heart or give me a smiley face or give me a thumb or give me one of those um and i've got this um special offer running until sunday um which is where i'm going to give you 16 cds or dvds of my business income blueprint and a five-hour business cash flow discovery course which will be with me or one of my um elite trainers all for 27 quid plus that. Now, I've never done a deal as sexy as this, I don't think. Uh, And the reason I'm doing this deal is if you've ever watched any of my videos about pricing and um, price elasticity and price escalation and launch models, um, we bought a a stock of a few thousand of these CDs and DVDs of the business income blueprint. uh, And um, we did initial launch to our best customers. We've got just under 100 left, although I made this offer yesterday, so we've only got probably a few left now. Um, Alex just said he bought it. Um, and um, we're, we're changing the format of that. We're going to put it into USB. So there's podcast, there's um, video, there's 
audio on, on multiple devices that you can Bluetooth in your car. Now, obviously, with CDs and DVDs, you have to put them into a physical thing. Now, yeah, of course, you can put them into a computer and tra transfer them into the format that you want. So, really, we're just interested in moving this stock forward uh, so then we can pre-launch, uh, we can go to the next stage of launch, and we're going to up the price. So, I thought, well, I'll give you an amazing deal. I'm, uh, surely, it's best for me to do it to my loyal followers and fans and clients first. So, you need to go to tiny.cc forward slash capital B, capital C, capital D. Let me try and write it in while we're doing this. So sorry that you get a close look at my wrinkles. It's just because I'm expressive and passionate that I've got these wrinkles. One of my mates keeps trying to get me to get into Botox, but I'm too expressive. You'd just know straight away if I'd done Botox because my face wouldn't move. And um, I'm married, so why do I need Botox? Anyway, so it's tiny.cc forward slash... Cap oh, the text has gone. Let's try again. tiny.cc forward slash... Capital B, capital C, capital D. And that stands for Business Cash Flow Discovery. Now, if you go there now, you're going to get 16 CD stroke DVDs, part one and part two of my Business Income Builder Blueprint. And you're going to get a five-hour Business Cash Flow Discovery course with myself or one of our master trainers. And if it's one of our master trainers, I nearly always pop in and say hi and do a QA. and a So you're going to get a bit of time with me too, more than likely. Um, uh, you know, this, uh, if we've previously sold this and when we launch it out and sell it in the future, the value is nearly 3,000 quid with the course and the 16 um, audio or DVD set. Uh, the reason I created pretty high level, full sort of copy and paste on how to start and scale any business, it's got the sales, the marketing, the finance, the accountancy, the HR, the vision, the strategy, the leadership, the building, the team, the leverage, the outsourcing. It's got all of that in it, all the multiple marketing channels, sales scripts. There's a 60-page manual that comes with the pack. There's also about 50 templates, checklists, contracts. There's an HR contract. There's an employment contract. There's a job description. So there's job ads. There's all of this stuff, all templated. The reason I did that is because we're creating all this content when we launch our new online academies early next year. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get out to my loyal followers and fans first. So go to tiny.cc forward slash capital B, capital C, capital D. So uh, Abida's got it. Alex says I look beautiful just the way I am. Natalie says she's got it. Alec, um, Alec you've got it. You've told me twice. All right, great. So go right now and get it. This offer goes until Sunday, which if you're not watching live, may already be here. So go now. Or it goes until the just under 100 of the stock are gone. Now, I have 27,000 people who um, follow me on Facebook, and there's 7,200 in the um, Disruptive Entrepreneur community. Um, so you're going to have to be quick. Um, Ophelia's getting it. Will's just bought it. So go now and get it. I promise you, um, you will get... Uh, 10 or 100 times the value of it. And like I said, the reason for offering all this value so cheap is to reward my followers and fans. For example, Will's just bought it. I had a chat with him this morning because he kindly donated some money to my foundation, so I gave him a 30-minute one-to-one. Uh, and I know if I can get a lot of this information out to people like him, he can really scale his business. He can take it from half a million to a million turnover or whatever. And then in the future, he might come back and buy some of my other products and services. So you could call it a, like a earn your trust offer or like a lost leader because you probably don't know. But I've written a lot of books and we've got a lot of training programs for if you're a property investor, if you're a business owner, if you want an, uh, an online retail business, if you want to be a public speaker. We have all these courses, but I don't talk about it on, on my live videos because I just want to build goodwill and maybe you'll find those when you need those training. So that's kind of like an earn your trust offer. So go get it now. If you don't risk anything, you risk everything. Uh, and if you want to carry on the conversation, the debate, you want to talk to me, you want to ask questions about growing and scaling your business, about doubling or tripling the turnover and the profit, then join the Disruptive Entrepreneurs community, which is where we all hang out, uh, which is where we all converse. There's probably 30 conversations are going on a day there between sort of 7,100 of us. So you need to be there. Um, so that link again, tiny.cc forward slash capital B, capital C, capital D. Remember, if you don't risk anything, you risk everything. So if you don't risk getting those audio programs and that five-hour business cash flow discovery event at our training suite, if you don't risk 27 quid plus that, I mean, it's just no risk, then you could risk growing your business, scaling your business, outsourcing your business. You could risk going from 100 grand to a million or 2 million or 5 million. We do 15 to 20 million a year in our companies. That's not including our um, property portfolio. So, um, yeah, I, I can help you and I'd love to have the chance to help you. Thanks for following me and um, see you soon.